homosexuality would be under the category of pornea, which is the general category of immorality. Um, it's all essentially immorality. This pornea is sex outside of the bounds of marriage. And where you have marriage, the marriage bed is undefiled. So what goes on in the marriage bed, God ordained. But if you take that sexual energy outside of the marriage bed, you're in sin, no matter what sin it is, whether it's homosexual sin or heterosexual sin, it's still sin. But the Bible does specifically say, uh, in regard to sex between a man and a man and a woman and a woman, that is a picture you know, from you know, Genesis, where you see the Sodomites uh, in Sodom and Gomorrah. Or you go to Romans chapter 1 and you see that this is a, a step in rebellion against God. That though they knew God, they didn't honor Him as God, nor give thanks, but became futile in their speculations. They began to serve the creature rather than the, cre the creation, rather than the creator. And then God gave them over to a debased mind, to you know, passions that were unbefitting, like men with men and women with women. So it is not just sexual sin, but it's also a picture of rebelling against the order God made because God made it so that a man and a woman would come together and become one flesh. And right now people are trying to tinker with that in society and say that it doesn't really matter. Um, from a biblical standpoint, it matters a great deal because if you don't honor God's plan, uh, you're going to be on the short end of the stick.